Welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is my second video now and for my last video I promised lighting is not going to be as bad as it was. Um, the key thing that I find when I talk to people is they want to lose weight so they've gone from say 2,000 calories and then suddenly they're cutting down to 1,200 and they, you know, they lose weight in the first few weeks but then after that they yo-yo diet you'll find that if you just lower your calories just a little bit from what you're doing right now over a long period of time that's going to be a lot more beneficial in comparison to just cutting for 1200 calories and not having any room to kind of play around with because once you go up you're going to be more you could be more prone to put that weight back on i cut my calories down a ridiculous amount when i went into my first competition and it was just wasn't healthy i had, had no energy going into my exams i got to the point where i was reducing my calories so much that my body was just stressed it wasn't actually losing weight it was actually holding on to everything it could for its goddamn life so that's my first bit of advice don't cut your calories ridiculously i know you see all those diets but it doesn't work long term it doesn't work the instant thing people think is after they've eaten something really really bad or they want to lose weight is i'm going to spend an hour an uh, hour and a half on the cardio, on the treadmill, no. There's no point in doing that much cardio. I did a crazy amount of cardio when I go in, went into my prep instantly and there was no point in me actually doing it because if I was just a bit more efficient with my weight training, I, was, I would have burnt a, more, a lot more calories in comparison to what I was doing just going on the cardio. So say you do 20 minutes on the cardio machine, yeah, you're probably gonna burn that 200 calories, but then after you've come off that machine, that's all you're going to burn, 200 calories. Whereas you do a good weight training session, then you're going to keep burning that energy, keep burning that food that you maybe just consumed, and keep burning those calories after your session. Uh, I think I got to the point where I was doing so much cardio, I was probably losing, not losing fat, I was probably losing muscle because I just overworked it. And if I would have maybe cut down on my cardio, then I don't think my body would have gone into the stress. And I think putting your body under stress, people don't realise there's a massive, massive... It, it, it can change whether you lose weight or whether you gain weight or whether you just stay very, very flat. So don't do too much cardio. Maybe integrate maybe one, two cardio sessions a week or just be a bit more active. But you don't need to go straight into, I'm going to do hours and hours of cardio. I did it quite quickly. It can be done, but it's, it's a better process if you do it, if you give yourself enough time, maybe to make a few mistakes and, you know, just to live life a little bit. So you give yourself more time, more time for you to actually adapt it into your routine, into your habits, and long term it'll be a bit more beneficial. I'm not going to go into the technicalities of refeed and a cheat meal because I won't, I'll be very honest. I'm not a professional, so I'm not going to go into the rest of details because I may actually get it wrong and I don't want to be giving wrong information. I didn't give myself probably enough refeed slash cheap meals to kind of keep me going and keep my body, um, keep my body guessing a little bit and to kind of boost metabolism. Don't go crazy, you know, don't start binging out because then you're just going to reverse everything you've done. But definitely have something that is going to keep you going. And it will, you know, it's, I mean, it's nice sometimes that you can treat yourself because you're human and sometimes you need it. You know, you can do it by yourself. I did it by myself. A lot of people do it by themselves. But it is nice to have that professional opinion so you can make sure that what you're doing is sustainable and it's healthy. And it's more efficient as well. I made a lot of mistakes because even now sometimes I don't know what to do I've got a coach now because I've got to the point where to get the goals that I want I do need that professional help and someone to kind of tell me what to do and it's quite nice sometimes you don't have to think about it and obviously for nutritional reasons and all that malarkey but just to keep it fun and to keep it interesting and so you don't get bored you will find that you'll be able to experiment a lot more with food than you probably think you can. 
just by doing different spices, maybe put a bit of soy sauce, that's some, um, one obsession I have, soy sauce, and the second is hot sauce, just putting that on everything will make anything taste good. Uh, so just have a bit of a play around. Um, I hope this has helped a little bit. If anyone's got any questions, then message me. As I say, I'm not a professional, but I'm hoping that my experiences and what I know can help some of you you know, if you're going to do the weight loss or the fat loss phase, then do it in a more healthy and more sustainable way. And don't do the crazy diets that, you know, you see everyone else get into. Do it the proper way. And you'll get to the point where you don't actually need to do the fat loss or the weight loss because you'll be at that. You'll be, you'll have the body that you want throughout the year because you just know, you just don't do these crash diets. And I'm rambling in now. But um, I hope this has helped and I will see you guys soon.